Ladies and gentlemen, a minor R1 radio blackout is in progress because, as industrial engineer Arin Quiorres is pointing out, we've had an M1.3 class flare that was generated by AR2891, the sunspot. So let's just take a minute to appreciate how active the sun has been. We had our first X class solar flare in July and since then the Sun has really really started to wake up just a few days ago we had six sunspots count them one two three four five six on October 7th sunspots on the Sun we had an x-class flare the second one of solar cycle 25 less than a week ago and for 12 straight months the sunspot progression has greatly exceeded NASA and NOAA's estimation of a kind of medium lukewarm solar cycle so their prediction was the red line and right now we're traveling along the blue line and you can see as you know in September we had a very strong sunspot number October wasn't as strong but it's still a lot stronger than projected and now we're starting off November pretty dang strong and remember we're still about four years away from solar maximum and so just at the end of the day i want to remind everybody nobody really knows what the sun is going to do man not only is the sun a great grand mystery but so is the star field around us remember beetlejuice beetlejuice is the star in the shoulder of orion beetlejuice went to you know dimmed to like 80 percent of its normal luminosity and then has been going up and down right here we have our sun and this was the sunspot that caused the x-class flare and it had another m-class flare but the m-class flare comes from this one right here and then we got another sunspot on the edge of the sun and then we're getting a lot of filament pop-off actions which could be causing coronal mass ejection plasma towards earth we will have to check the enlil in a couple of hours as they update it but yeah it's clear to say that it looks like solar cycle 25 is going to be stronger than everyone except for like me and scott mcintosh predicted so that's just exciting and to me it is very interesting because they say civilization kind of falls apart during solar minimums and civilization rises and improves during solar maximums so that is one reason I am hoping and praying for a very strong solar cycle because God knows we could use some better days, better times, better energy, and more fun. If there's one thing Earth needs right now, it is more humor, more love, more forgiveness, and more fun. Now remember, I just present my own personal views to you. You are allowed to believe whatever the heck you want to, man. But I would definitely like things to improve. And so what will the sun do next? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Solar Cycle 25 is going to be a strong one. Will this have an Earth-directed component? Maybe. But like I said, most of the time, you know, solar storms, except for Aurora Watchers, are underwhelming to everybody else. Um, although, you know, it does affect earthquakes and volcanoes in my opinion because it's like we have a little sun inside of our planet and that is what's just so crazy about everything in this universe and in this world and even on the earth to know that we have like a little star at the core of our planet you know, you know some people think that there's crystal inside crystal inside the sun maybe crystal inside the earth maybe nobody knows there's a lot that we do not know but I do know that the sun has been a lot stronger than everybody thought it would be. So that is good news in a time where we haven't been getting a lot of good news. So you get this magnetic curl out tsunami tidal wave down here rolling out with the magnetic tendrils. Look at that. Now watch here down at the end. Ooh, there you go. That's neat. See so yeah, how the sun is getting busy. 
That is good news. We should all get busier. You know what I'm saying? All right. That should get a, get a pop. So, yeah, there is a lot of action happening on the sun right now. And that is very exciting because the sun is only going to get stronger and more active as time keeps on ticking, ticking into the future yeah i would guess this one will have some earth facing components if it did have a coronal mass ejection with it we will have to check out but the best way to verify is if it actually hits earth in about three days from now how are you doing how are you enjoying november hey, look at that bing bang super boom and then look at that and then you get the boom up there so yeah there's a lot happening it's like all my science terms i'm so glad you do strange days indeed my friends and remember i like to say hey if at some point the sun does hit us with an x-class 38 flare right in the face knocking out our grid then we probably deserve it strange days indeed so yeah activity abounds yo all right, Thor News does a fundraiser every single month, and the November fundraiser is kicking off now. If you would like to support a YouTube space, science, and weather, and all things channel that doesn't try to tell you the sun's going to sleep all the time, well, you can make a contribution and a donation. I got a mailbox, I got a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $1,167 left to raise for November. Thank you very much to Asteroid Fight Club and everybody out there, including DWP, the Texas Angel, Wizard of Oz, Alexis, Lauren, Richard, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, Ann, KJ, and Max. And everybody out there who is cool and awesome keeping helping us keep it together during these crazy days. God bless everyone. Stay cool. I will talk to you all in the near future.